you envision any scenario in which you could be a candidate for speaker, especially with a deadlock in this race? Look, um, this is about a moment in time. This is about what America's going to do. Could you imagine if we were sitting here and we listened further to a Gates and Mace that we were in a shutdown? That we, as we asked our 30,000 men and women in the military in the Middle East to defend us without being paid? That the question around the world of what was happening here today, that's a decision by the conference. I'll allow the conference to make whatever decision. Whether I'm speaker or not, I'm a member of this body. I know what history has had, and I can lead in any position it is. What message does it send to our allies, to the rest of the world, that the House did not elect a new speaker? It's wrong. It's wrong. The whole action. Think the basis why it took place. Because I made a decision to keep government open. What if government wasn't open? How weak would we be then? You know, people get to run for office. People get to perform as they want. Sometimes people perform for their own personal. But there comes a moment in time that people should stand up for that. This is the United States of America. We are living in very dangerous times. The pettiness has got to stop. It's not just electing somebody that's new. It's whether you want to be a conservative who will govern. That's the question the conference has to realize. And for the idea that you allow eight people to continue to do that with no consequences, no one's going to be successful.